Jeffrey Williams of the Malaysian University of Science and Technology and Carmelo Felito of the Centre for Market Education agree that lockdowns are the biggest impediment to economic recovery. The way forward must be to end the lockdown, said Williams. The economic devastation is not caused by the virus, it's caused by the policy response. We can expect the stimulus packages to be effective only when the lockdown ends. You can't put one foot on the accelerator when you have the other on the brake. With the virus potentially becoming endemic and staying with the community, he said, lockdowns could not be the go-to response for dealing with COVID-19. Williams said the government must also look at alternatives to vaccines to manage the virus, as new variants were making an over-reliance on vaccines untenable. Felito, who has long been critical of broad movement restrictions as a way to curb virus transmission, agreed. The risk ahead is mass unemployment and a flat or negative economic growth. Also, there could be rampant inflation once the COVID-19 crisis is over, and this could lead to a purely economic crisis. He said it would be more effective to have targeted mitigation strategies that would allow most people to move around with freedom while areas of concern were managed through mass testing, efficient contact tracing, and localized isolation. He said young and healthy people should be able to build immunity through exposure, and only the communities most vulnerable, like the elderly, were in serious need of protection.